Investigators will update us on what they know about the shooting at a Pittsburgh synagogue when they hold a news conference later this morning. Prosecutors have filed 29 counts against the suspect. Police say he killed 11 people and wounded six others, including four police officers. Correspondent Camila Bernal has the very latest on what investigators know so far. Acts like this are really acts against all houses of worship. Saturday morning's attack inside a Pittsburgh synagogue is believed to be the deadliest on the Jewish community in U.S. history. Authorities received calls of an active shooter at the Tree of Life Synagogue just before 10 a.m. Police say it was this man, 46-year-old Robert Bowers, who opened fire and unleashed terror on a close-knit community, leaving nearly a dozen people dead. Some police officers were among the injured. I think that Squirrel Hill is strong and we're going to remain that way. According to police, Bowers made anti-Semitic comments during the shooting and targeted Jews in posts on social media. Bowers is now facing a list of federal and state charges. Candlelight vigils were held across the country to honor the lives lost, including D.C., where hundreds gathered outside the White House. President Trump, who's expected to visit Pittsburgh, condemned the deadly shooting during a rally in Indianapolis. There must be no tolerance for anti-Semitism in America. And that was Camila Bernal reporting. Make sure you stay with Eyewitness News for continuing coverage of this deadly synagogue shooting in Pittsburgh. When we're not on the air, remember you can always get the very latest information on our website at cbsphilly.com.